Hi there, my name is Emma Grace, and I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade choir here at Marshall. This is my third full year at Marshall and my sixth year teaching music. Um, even though this year is different than any other year I've been teaching, I have really been enjoying singing and learning with all of your students this fall. This semester in choir, um, we'll be learning the basics of reading music that is learning rhythms and how to clap them. We're also learning solfege in order to read the notes of music. Solfege are syllables that vocalists use kind of like note names in band and orchestra in order to identify notes and perform them. So if you've heard your student practicing do, re, mi around the house, that's solfege. Um, we are also learning in choir how to build our vocal technique so that students can start singing even better. Um, that's a little bit interesting this year because to do vocal technique, students are muted on Zoom, but I have been really, really impressed with students' enthusiasm and willingness to work on their singing, even though we are an online choir right now. This first semester is going to be different than a typical choir. We are not able to have concerts um, right now. And so we are going to be learning through projects. Your students have been composing music. And this fall, we're going to be doing a project on music and identity. Students are going to be reflecting on how the music they like and have memories associated with reflects who they are and where they come from. I'm also looking forward this fall to a virtual choir opportunity for students. So if your student is really missing out on those performance opportunities later in the fall, they'll have an opportunity to record themselves performing a song and their recording will be combined with other students' recordings from all over the state. This is a really exciting opportunity. And um, for that reason, I mean, it won't be required because I know not everyone can sing at home. But if your student is interested, I think it's going to be really, really great. Um, all of our assignments, our grades, our lesson slides, and all of our information is posted in our class Schoology page. You can look at grades there and missing assignments as well. I always accept late work and I always allow students to retake and resubmit any assignments for a higher grade as well. Participation in our Zoom meetings is incredibly important. Our Zoom meetings is where we practice our music reading. It's where we practice our vocal technique. And so I am really encouraging students to have their video on if they are able. If they are not able, it's fine. I still expect that students are participating in the chat box if they don't have their video on. This is so important to me that students are engaged in their work um, choir is very easy if they pay attention in the Zoom meetings. I can always be contacted through email and I'm always really happy to set up a Zoom conference if you have any questions for me or if your student needs any help on any assignments. Thank you so much. I know choir is a little bit different this year, but I have been having so much fun with your students and I can't wait to hear more. Thanks. Bye.